How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching this video. In this video I'll be doing a review on Urban Armor Gear's iPad Pro case. Um, just before I get started I would like to thank Urban Armor Gear for this opportunity to review the iPad Pro case. Uh, if you guys like this model, if you guys like this case, I will have a link in the description below. Uh, so you can go ahead and check that out. You can check out the rest of their website as well. They have lots of cool um, cases, phones, tablets, computers, anything, lots of stuff. So go ahead and check them out. Um, I'm going to start out just by going over the the, the, the case here itself. Uh, the cover is the basic Urban Armor gear. It kind of has some outdoor um, activity, kind of heavy duty type uh, build. On the side, iPad Pro, UAG, bottom just a few of the some writing and it's got a pencil here UAG as well iPad Pro designed for uh, designed for iPad Pro has the Urban Armor Gear website www.urbanarmorgear.com and we get to the back side here it talks about some of the features that the, this case does provide the first one is impact resistant corners this is something I'll kind of show you guys a little bit closer and in depth frog skin grip which is here on the inside there's a uh, the smart keyboard compatible and I will explain that in a little bit as well portrait and landscape mode so it's kind of friendly for both ways easy access for buttons adjustable stand and Apple pencil holder I will get to that as well so without waiting any longer let us go ahead and get in here so here it is that's what the inside looks like and this is the outside of the case it does feel a little flimsy now just because there's nothing to support it on the inside um, as you guys can see there is a flap or a stand here it is made out of aluminum I do believe it's uh, some sort of metal and everything else is like that uh, kind of rubbery plastic feel to it everything is fairly soft except for this one piece here this stand so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install this iPad and like I always do it, I look for the side that has the most buttons, which is over here on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that side in first. It's a little harder to do with it being so big. And I just, on, from this side, once it's there, I, I, I'll take it and I'll slide it that way and push down to get the corners. And as you can see here, some of these edges didn't quite get fitted properly so I'm just going to go ahead and pull those over to get it nice and curved have it hold hold the uh, iPad in place so there we go now that we have that I will go over some of the openings and some of the features the first side has nothing as you guys can see it's got the two bumpers impact resistant bumpers so if you were to drop if you were to drop your iPad they will help absorb impact Moving on to the bottom, they have openings for both of your speakers and for your charging port. As you can see, it's fairly open, so you can fit almost any kind of charger in there. Got the bumper on the side here, and the pencil, the Apple Pencil, it's got a slot for that. Try to get a better angle here. So you guys can see there's a slot for that, so you can slide it in, push it in, uh, whatever you like. And moving on up, there is an opening for your volume up and down button as you got as it had said in the ad that it was fairly easily accessible those are there there's no buttons to actually press um, so you're hitting the actual physical button there's an opening here for a microphone there is opening here for a camera and a microphone as well I'll get to that once I get to the back side and moving on to the top there is an opening for the power button as well as an opening for a speaker, another speaker here, and the headphone jack. And that takes us back to our first side. I will then cover the front here. There's nothing, um, there's no screens, anything on the front. The only thing that there is is there's a slip, and it is slightly bigger. There we go, you guys can see it there. There's a lip around the whole edge of the iPhone, or the iPad. So if you were to drop this on its face, there's a little bit of, um, a little bit of an edge that can take some of this impact. And now we are here on the back side, which is the kind of, I guess, the, the, main, the main thing here. So like I talked about the opening here for the camera and the microphone, I had covered the, the pencil port. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is the stand here. Uh, you take it, 
and you just go ahead and lift it up you you will hear a click there's three different settings so those are the three settings one two and three stand it up if you want less of an angle try to get it this way for you guys less of an angle slide it in it clicks it gives you less and then if you wanted one more to make it even steeper there is that third option so that is what the stand does putting it away just push in and it slides in fits in place um, one of the other things that it had talked about on the on the cover or on the or on the box itself is it is friendly with uh, other keyboards and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the iPad from the actual case itself to talk about this next feature or the last little bit here taking it out I slide the two corners out once the two corners are out iPad the whole iPad edge is pretty much exposed At that point I just slowly pry it off so now that the iPad is out I will get a little closer here for you guys to see and it says remove side panel attached uh, to attach smart keyboard and if you guys are not aware on the actual iPad itself they have the little magnets right there to uh, attach different accessories keyboards and whatnot different case or different uh, yeah just accessories mostly for keyboards so that needs to be open in order for it to work if you have a case that covers covers it it is not you won't be able to use that um, urban armor gear made it friendly for using keyboards and all there all it is is taking out this plastic strip starting from here down to the bottom the first things that you want to do is pop it out from behind it's held on by a little pin and you do that on both sides this is where we come back to the front and take it off take off the sticker because the sticker is holding the last piece so once you got that that part out then you are able to get your iPad in place and you got access to the magnets to help keep that keyboard up so uh, didn't get the case on all the way I'm getting a power off option And that is all I got for you guys for this case review. It's a fairly pretty cool case. I looked around and I didn't see any other cases that I was really interested in even taking a look at. This is one of them that uh, I thought was pretty cool. looked fairly awesome. And I always thought, well, why would you need a, you know, a case for an iPad or a laptop? But in this case, you know, if you're going to school, if you're a student, you know, if you have kids, anything like that where they're getting dropped, used, kind of beat up, uh, makes it kind of nice to protect it as best you can. And with this uh, stand, the other thing that I did like about it is if it, the screen is so big on this iPad, you can use it as a TV, so to speak. And the stand does work in both directions. As I had mentioned, it, you can stand it up this way and have it, you know, watch a video or something. You can also use it this way. And stand it up on its on its end. So, pretty cool stand overall. I like it. I would recommend it to anybody who might be looking for a case for their iPad Pro. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. If you guys have any comments or questions, concerns, uh, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.